All right, we have a new teaser on the Forerunner. I'm seeing this for the first time. Toyota let me know, oh man, it's embargoed and is only intended, intended for the original recipient. By entering the password and clicking enter, I agreed to the embargo. I don't know if I have a password. Well, I refreshed again and uh, okay, so let's see if I can click this. Nope, that's not working either but fresh air for your wild side and the new next gen forerunner. Okay, well, I can't click on it. It's refusing me. Uh, every time I click on it, it's asking for a password, but you know what we do have here? We have buttons on the back that will raise and lower the window. You guys, you can sleep easy. You do not have to worry. The new forerunner has the roll down window in the back. Not only that, we have a massive 14 inch screen here. Um, like we have in the Tacoma and the Tundra, the Sequoia, as well as some Lexus products. All right. Um, finally on Instagram, they updated it. There's the button up here by the rear window to raise and lower the rear window. Celebrate guys, grab your snacks and drinks. April 9th is going to be the reveal. And now I can probably officially say I can bring you guys hands-on coverage of this reveal. I'm heading out to California on Sunday. The reveal, I think, is that Tuesday? Yes, that is on Tuesday. And we have another look here of the Toyota uh, lift gate. It's hard to say, but it looks like a darkened chrome here, but it could be the standard chrome as well. And I think we're looking at the Heritage Blue on potentially a limited model with the larger wheels. Um, and large touchscreen. We also have what looks like uh, leather seats, but they could be soft tech seats as well on the inside. I wish I, I'm going to see, I'm going to refresh the main page again. Let's see if it's going to hit me with that password. Now nah, we're in, we are in a window to bigger worlds and adventures is just around the corner. Stay tuned for more forerunner updates. But, but now we know because of the Instagram, April 9th is when you guys will be able to sink your teeth into it. Luckily for me, I get to see it, I think on the 8th. And so I'll have that content ready for you on the 9th when the embargo ends. All right, let's download the image here now that we're no longer password protected and get this up and start dissecting big roof rails here. And they are not blacked out. They look shiny chrome to me. And, but, but the rear antenna, the shark fin antenna is blacked out here. And I'm probably going to have to pull up some images of the outgoing forerunner comparing one versus the other. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. Um, the taillights actually look fairly similar, very tight and pushed out to the sides, of course, because of the lift back. Um, but the lift, the lift gate or whatever you want to call it really folds around the rear taillights. Now, the outgoing forerunner is a little bit soft on the taillights and we have a lot more hard edge and boxiness built into the new taillights. Is the window opening maybe a little bit smaller than before? It's possible, you know, with crash regulations, uh, it, it could have been shrunken down just a little bit in terms of width and maybe height as well. Uh, the rear windshield wiper is still tucked up and under, which is a beautiful feature. You can see it right there, I believe. So here we have, so we can start puzzle piecing this together a little bit down here was last week's image. Uh, last Thursday, we had a teaser and this is what we had. We had a little tow hitch, forerunner splayed uh, across the bottom instead of um, a little bit higher, right? Right here, it was kind of all integrated. The Toyota logo has gone. Get this guys, Toyota logo is gone from the back of the forerunner. Now we just have the heritage riding across this big old, I think it's a big old handle that we have here. And there's the up and down uh, buttons to control uh, the rear window. But now we also know that the, the controls are also somewhere in the cabin above uh, the rear view mirror. All right, let's try to break down what we have going on with the dash. It is not easy. It looks like this is somebody's shoulder right here. <laughs> Someone might be ducking out. I'm not quite sure. It looks like, it's a, is that the Grim Reaper? It looks like a hooded figure here. <laughs> All right, um, I can't really tell the color of these seats. They could be black, they could be brown. It looks like we have a big volume knob here between these two vents. Again, the 14 inch touchscreen, your start stop, uh, or should I sorry, say on off button right here. And I can't tell 
behind the steering wheel. I can't see the steering wheel at all, but it is probably the fully digital 12 inch screen here on this uh, platinum or limited, whatever, whatever trim level we're looking at. Um, I have a platinum Sienna in the driveway. That's why I, I said platinum. Um, and then with big old vent over here on the side, let's pull up, maybe let's pull up the Tacoma interior. There we go. And can we see some similarities here between the two? All right. Well, let's zoom in big screen here on the dash, even the contour of how this comes up and the, the power button is right there as well. Um, I, you know, what about the, the, we just have a vent over here on the far side. This looks to be the exact same vent even. And then look, there's a, a additional vent here for defrosting, maybe the side mirror or something or, or the, the window that looks to be identical as well. This, okay. Zooming out a bit, we might have the same handlebar here and this could be the JBL audio more than likely it's JBL. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the interior here on the new forerunner is going to be really close to a carbon copy of what we have on the Tacoma. And that's not a bad thing. I love the new Tacoma's interior traditional shifter, big fat knobs everywhere. Try to say that with a straight face. You have switch gear, you'll have heated and ventilated seats. I don't think the current forerunner has ventilated seats, for example, has a heated steering wheel. If I remember correctly, we'll have new safety technology, which is much needed on the forerunner too. But yeah, I'm going to say that it's going to be largely the same of what we have here on the Tacoma. The door styling might change a little bit. That has yet to, to remain to be seen, to be honest. But what do you guys think? Are you okay with the interior being very Tacoma-like? Um, I'm hearing that the, the front end is very Tacoma-like as well. So if we pull up the front end of the Tacoma, not too shabby, not too shabby. This is obviously the trail hunter. I would love that if we get the trail hunter guys here on the forerunner, but I think the design is so strong in the Tacoma that you can just copy and paste it on the outside as well as the inside and call it a day. Would people be a little upset about that? I'm sure people always complain, but I would be, I would be happy because I love the looks of the new Tacoma. And here's the render of the new forerunner that I'm expecting for the trail hunter. If we get it, I would love it if it has this sort of design, but some people are saying that that iconic forerunner C pillar is going to be back. Um, so stay tuned to see if this makes its way back. I bet it does, but I would be happy with them just going the more continuous window route as well. Let me know what you guys prefer the old school C pillar or the continuous window route. Uh, we know that the roof rails here, I didn't put roof rails on my render all the, all those months ago when I made this, but guys get excited. April 9th. I can't wait to bring it to you guys in the flesh when I'm out in California for the reveal. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.